Welcome learners, we are discussing Unit 11 of MBA program second semester marketing management. So Unit 11 is about customer relationship management. In the first part of the video, we have already discussed about what customer relationship management is all about. Then we have also discussed about the dis differences between relationship marketing and relationship management. We have discussed that customer relationship management is basically an organization-wide approach and it's not only for the external customers, it might include the internal departments as well as the other stakeholders. So in this uh, second part of the video, we shall take up two learning objectives. One is, what are the various forms of relationship management? That part we shall try to address. Then we shall also understand the tips of managing customer loyalty and development. So let us take the first objective, that what are the various forms of relationship uh, management. So there are basically three forms of relationship management. Dear learners, you will have to be clear that what are the various forms of relationship management. It's basically concentrated on three areas. We shall discuss these three areas one by one. These three areas are one is operational CRM, the second one is analytical CRM, the third one is collaborative CRM. Operational CRM is basically how the CRM is made functional. Analytical CRM is how the databases, how the analytics are derived from the CRM exercises. And the third one is how the collaborations are made so that CRM practices can be made much more effective. So these are basically the three areas in which we can talk about the various forms of relationship management. Let us first take the first one, the operational CRM what this operational CRM is all about. So as I have told you, operational CRM is basically keeping the CRM functional in the organization. So how can we keep the CRM functional in an organization? We can have three areas. One is Salesforce automation. The second one is marketing automation. Third one is service automation. Suppose Salesforce automation, one pharmaceutical company is having various zones, suppose Eastern India zone, Western India zone, Northern zone, Southern zone, suppose within Eastern India, suppose say Bihar and say West Bengal, say Northeastern region, suppose Northeastern region, the different states are there, in each state there are different districts, the different territory managers are there, suppose that particular pharmaceutical company has to target the A category doctors and the territory managers or the medical representatives after visiting a category doctor has to submit the report online on daily basis. So on next day morning, the marketing manager of this particular pharmaceutical company will come to know that how many A category doctors were visited on the previous day. That is Salesforce automation. You see, based on Salesforce automation, we can map, we can go for identification of defined customers, we can go for identification of different opportunities. Suppose a new hospital is coming up at, at a location, say, X. So accordingly, we can add X in our territory coverage map. And accordingly, we can schedule our visits. We can think about quota allocation to our salespeople. We can think about our monitoring of the sales performance of the particular territory managers of a particular zone, of a particular district, of a particular state. We can think about right, the orders received from the various distributors, stockists. So this is all about sales force automation. So entire selling and distribution function can be automated. Likewise, the, there could be another automation that is a marketing automation. Suppose the advertisements, one particular marketer is going to release an advertisement of one particular brand in suppose 100 plus channels in 100 plus programs. So 100 plus channels plus 100 plus programs, suppose that advertisement will be repeated in several programs, suppose 5 times a day, in some cases it could be 10 times a day. You see the entire media scheduling or the entire motion or the entire phasing of the advertisements can be done with the help of the software. So that is basically marketing automation. We can go for planning, creation and execution of multi-touch, multi-channel. We can think about kiosk how many kiosks are operating, what is the response rate in the kiosk, like that. We can think about automation of the entire marketing exercise. Likewise, we can also think about another aspect of operational CRM, that is service automation. Suppose when we are purchasing a motorcycle or a car, we are supposed to go for the mandatory services, first service, second service, automatically we get the alert, alert in our mobile phones, the SMS or say WhatsApp message, or maybe a phone call by the service, uh, outlets. 
So these are all service automation. And suppose after the service is available, say two days after we receive a call that you had your services done two days before. How is the how is your vehicle performing? Right? What is the status? Are you satisfied? These are all service automation. The software will take care of. So these are operational CRM. Some of the things. You read the SLM, it would be very, very easy to for you to understand. Then second one is the analytical CRM. Analytical CRM, as I told you, it's mostly about the analysis of the data. In analytical CRM, the primary aim of entire customer's relationship management is to critically analyze the customer data. Who are the customers? How often do they visit? Why do they visit? Are they satisfied? When was their last purchase? Right? What is their visiting pattern? And we get all this data from the database. And ultimately, based on this database, we can think about, suppose in a retailer, that one particular item has been displayed, that what is the footfall in that particular location, Location. what is the sale of that particular item, what is the trial sale, what is the repeat sales, we can go for analysis of all these informations. So analytical CRM basically making use of techniques such as data mining. Data then after that mining data will have to correlate the data, that what is the relationship between display and sales. What is the relationship between satisfaction and increased sales? We can go for lot many analysis. So at the same time, it helps us in identifying the gaps in our marketing activities so that we can take a good kind of business strategy, effective business strategy, so that we can go for corrective measures. So that is basically done with the help of gap analysis. And that will be facilitated by the database. So basically, analytical CRMs, it's all about data analysis. We are sitting in a storehouse of data. How are you going to make use of data? How are you going to report the gaps in the data? And how are you going to adopt the collective measures of that data? That is basically analytical CRM. The third aspect is collaborative CRM. As I told you, customer relationship management is not only about managing customers, it's all about managing the supply system, managing the various departments, suppose in a card servicing. It's not only the customer relationship, it's about managing the service system also. Because ultimately, if the card is serviced well, then only the customers will be satisfied. So in collaborative CRM, the primary aim is to incorporate external stakeholders. The supplier, suppose we talk about the Maruti Alto, the quality of Maruti Alto will depend upon the components assembled in Maruti Alto, is that it? Tires, glasses, mattresses, bearings, engines, so many things, is that it? So ultimately the assemblage of all these things will determine the quality of the vehicle. So it's collaborative. It's not just only by Maruti. Maruti will have to have a networking relationship with its vendors, with its suppliers, with its distributors. Is that it? So that is very important. So collaborative CRM is taking an integrated approach with all the collaborators. So primary objective of collaboration is to enhance the quality. The quality of the service of Maruti also will depend upon the quality of service received from all these stakeholders because ultimately its quality the being offered will lead to enhanced customer satisfaction and if the customers can be satisfied then we can expect them to retain them if we can retain them for repeat purchases then we can expect that the customers will be loyal to us and that is the ultimate goal because if we can have a loyal customers we shall be able to save time, we shall be able to save money in acquisition of new customers. So today social media, many of the marketers have got their social media presence. They have got their WhatsApp, they have got their Facebook account. So many of them, they have got their own repository, website. So they are highly present in the social media. So collaborative CRM increases customer engagement. They can have a review of their various uh, parts, various components, various modalities and ultimately all these things help in getting the trust of the customer and if the trust can be improved, the organization can help in adding its learning curve to do better in its service operations. So then ultimately all these things will help us in improving the customer loyalty. Loyalty programs are offered both retailers also, as I have mentioned, in the supermarkets, departmental stores, the green cards are given, also in the airline industry, the frequent flyers are given the options of frequent flyer discount, or they are given sometimes an option of, right, better, different options in terms of their, say, uh, pre-air flight 
or the during air, during air journey, or maybe the post-flight services. Retail cooperatives, they pioneer the loyalty programs. They mostly on the purchase discount. In the Western Europe, the retail cooperatives develop. And one of the basic essence of development of the retail cooperatives in the 20th century was their loyalty programs. So it's a purchase discount. More and more you purchase from our store, more and more you will be entitled for the discount. So that helps in improving the loyalty, provided you give the good service. And modern loyalty programs are also of us consumers based on points, the points earned. And these points can be redeemed. And these can, points can be redeemed for a broad selection of merchandise. So that's how the loyalty is induced. So for all these, my dear learners, for CRM practices, database is very, very important. Managing the internal data warehouse and data mining capacity, establishing the core relationship, identifying the patterns, and that ultimately will help us in determining the loyalty programs, in executing the loyalty programs, in evaluating the effectiveness of the loyal programs. So development of the customer database is very, very important. And ultimately, we shall have to go for an emotional bondage with our customers. So customers will be emotionally bonded provided we are able to give them personalized service. And this is facilitated by the development and application of CRM practices. Ultimately, as I have told you, the marketer will not offer the product just by the marketer. Marketer will offer the pro product based on the networking relationship it will have with its suppliers, with its vendors. So that is also very, very important. And ultimately, we all should strive for the satisfaction of the customers. Then only we can afford to have customer loyalty, customer retention, and then only we shall be able to minimize the cost of customer acquisition. We shall come to the concluding part of the discussion of this unit in the third video. Thank you.